All Dr. Fox back here with you with us closing in with our weekend update on that free patch. <laughs> no, no official quite word yet, but uh, I'm still stuck on my prediction too. Somewhere around the day after Yom Kippur, uh, September 29th-ish. So maybe the next, let's get into this. We got so much to cover, shan't we? Dr. Fox back here with you with a weekend update. As I said, that's my prediction, September 29th. We're going to have to see how close we come. Will we be right on? Will we be one week prior? Hmm, we'll have to see. And with that said, that means, as they had mentioned, uh, you know, and reputation bonus boost here will last boop, boop, right there <laughs> until the end of the month. So uh, maybe that's another second hint, right? Wink, wink. Anyway, that's still live. If you need a little rep boost bonus, catch up. And you might see some animation going on there in the background. Yes, the next After Lives Ardenwell has dropped this week. We are now on episode three. <laughs> I paused for dramatic effect there. Um, so, because we got uh, and then we had uh, Thrall's mom last week, and then we had this one, and then we got one more next week, and Hmm, I don't know. We'll have to see, right? Well, okay. All right. Well, with that said, uh, we will uh, shift gears just outside of World of Warcraft real quick for those uh, that, because I also enjoy an Nintendo Switch, and just for those that have been asking me, Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Uh, there's some pros and cons about it, but happy 35th anniversary to Super Mario otherwise. And with that, let's kind of shift our way back. Uh, don't forget those few wrap-up things about uh, pre-patch, uh, you know, before pre-patch goes live. I will link those once again for a couple of other great uh, web content creators out there. That's what our weekend update's all about, uh, giving you guys some highlights of some of those great content creators and some of those great updates that they merge into and to become... Oh, we sorry. No. <laughs> Shoot. Uh, no, or with that said, we're going to uh, integrate into the next part as well. We've also noticed out there in the, in the beta that, that there is some beautiful ray tracing going on, some gorgeous ray tracing shadows as well that we'll be able to see with those that have really high-end graphical stuff that they can push up as well. Something, this is, this is my big excitement. Huge, huge alt skip. This is so, so exciting. You'll be able to pl play through it uh, up to a particular point. And now when you come in with an alt, this is how alt should have been. And this is how they should have been. Ugh, even in that 8.3 and even much, much sooner. I'm just, ugh. I, I was working with somebody last night working on one of my alts to, just to go get the cape. And yes, don't get me wrong. You can skip a couple things. But I, I, I feel like at this point you should be able to just skip. And who knows, I... I would love to see a... Here's my prediction. I'd love to see them integrate. I know it's hard when they're working from home, but I'd love to see them integrate a full catch-up. Like you, you say, look, I've heard all this before. I know they've added in the two catch-ups. Maybe we won't because if there's already two short shortcuts in there, they may not make a larger shortcut, but it'd be great if you could like do a skip and all of a sudden you got your piece. You got your back piece. And you're ready to like get a, get ready or corruption and everything, or if they could just tweak. But we know people aren't going to go back to old content. Generally, we don't see that so as often. And and sometimes I'll go back and tweak a few things. But you know what I mean. I don't think we'll see anything huge. Anyway, with that, there's some uh, great vids out right now talking about all those as well. Uh, we, we've uh, we've got another uh, socket vendor out there going on as well. So. A lot of other pieces starting to to to, to come together that that we're uh, sharing as well. Uh, here's one great uh, question for me this week, uh, Doctor Fox. Who's your main pick for Shadowlands? I'm gonna be continuing. For those that don't know, my main character has been Janalia, and she's been with me since the beginning, uh, or at least the beginning from when I began this this journey a long, long, long time ago. I have a few alts, but. Those may come in a bit later, and I might play around with them a little later, and we'll have to see. But but good old Janali is going to be my my main out there. So if you see Janali out there, say a quick hello. Feel free to. She's uh, my night elf hunter. So that's who I go ahead and share you, or who's your main pick going to be for Shadowlands? 
Uh, what's going to be, whoops, that is more deciding to <laughs> rub the camera stand if suddenly we had the, ca the camera just bounced around there for a moment. She wants to come over and say hi. So uh, with that said, feel free to share in the comments who your main pick is for Shadowlands. Are you not playing anymore? Are you playing something else? If you're playing something else, share that as well. We'll have to see how that uh, also putting together. We've got some other links out there. Uh, they've been putting out lists for the PvP Melee DPS tier list as well. And then just some of those exciting... Uh, I just got to say a quick shout out to uh, Mr. GM out there. He put out a, a great vid. I'll put that link for that uh, about some big pre-patch events and little prizes and, and, and gear I'm, I'm looking forward to that cute little putrid geist pet that you can get as well in there. They're going to be using this currency called Argent uh, Accommodations. It's going to cost you about 20 to get the putrid geist. There is a an anti-doom broom. It's something for 15 You could get that eventually after you've got all your gear if you want. But the catch-up gear is about level 100 is where it'll be at. If you're looking for a weapon, you'll want to head up to Western Plaguelands where bl we've got a nice little uh, cinematic coming for a good old bright br blight collar up there. And that's where you'll be able to get your weapon, at least the range weapon I I've seen. It, it, it may be a different weapon as well. He may just drop a variant weapon for your particular class. So we'll have to see how that plays out. But And I know there's mixed stuff out there, but that's We'll have to see how it all pulls together. And with that said, we're going to kind of wrap up there. And uh, I don't know, are you, are you excited for pre-patch? Are you like, oh, is that something you're going to skip? We'll have to see. But uh, I loved uh, an, another great point that was brought up by Mr. GM2. Another quick shout out to you, Mr. GM2. That there's a couple of unused colored beautiful frost mounts. And I think those would be absolutely gorgeous. He goes into it more. I'll, I'll leave you the link as well, like we usually do. And uh, see what you think of that and feel free. So with that said, uh, remember to take two more items that you need to tidy up with this week before pre-patch launches. Or get caught up on a couple of the Shadowlands Afterlives anime shorts. And call me in the morning. And once again, yes, here we go. We will see you later.